office Ben Simmons and the Brooklyn Nets now the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks we'll see the talented pair of Middleton and Giannis at forward Beasley is out there with Damian Lillard and it's Lopez in at the five down low and for New York up front it's Randall at the four and Hartenstein at the five out on the perimeter DiVincenzo and Barrett and it's Brunson in at point guard now always fun to be here for a Christmas broadcast there is a certain magic in there, Greg, to these games. Kevin, it's always special to play on a holiday. It, it just changes the energy entirely. The crowd, the mood of your fellow players, it's just all better. So the Bucks win the tip. And here is Hunter DeCumbo. Middleton outside. Here's Lopez. That one off the back iron and out. Alert against Brunson. Pass to DiVincenzo. Alert against Brunson. Clock at four. A three for DiVincenzo. That falls. Nice feed that time from Brunson. And there's DiVincenzo with the quick trigger. Cannot give him any room defensively. You've got to eliminate his airspace. Here's Hansa Tacumbo. Beasley, the pass to Lopez. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Barrett. Pass to Brunson. And it's sent back by Miller. Milwaukee shooting their first foul shot of the game. And talking about last season, this team hit just 74% of their free throws. I'm sure they were hoping for better than that. And those aren't the kind of numbers they can afford to repeat throughout this season. And, you know, such a fierce competitor. Lillard can score from anywhere on the court. And there's no one you'd rather give the ball to with the game on the line. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. The pass to Middleton. Over Barrett. Middleton can't get it to go. Here's Randall. Milwaukee with the rebound. They beat the Knicks during their last encounter in New York. Well, they, they coasted to the win in that one. Were dominant in the rebound department, and that was a huge factor. And, you know, one of the things about winning the physical battle like they did in that game, it gives you a lot of confidence going into the next meet. You know you can push this team around in the paint and win the physical battle. Shoots the three. That falls. Nice speed that time from Brunson. You know, he's evolving his offense over time, Julius Randle. And I think the coaching staff is happy to see it. They like to see him take and make these shots. And so, on to Dekumbo looking over it. It's rebounded by Barrett. The inside just a bit too congested for him to get the usual shot he would have with rhythm. Bucks have gone 0-3 from the field to start the game. Beasley kicks to Middleton. Pass to Lopez. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. And the double up on to Kumbo. Just five to shoot. Lopez sets a screen for Lillard. And again, the Bucks miss. You know, that's a quick 0 for 4 now. At what point do you call a timeout and reset? Randall finds DiVincenzo. Back to Randall. Over Giannis. Out to Brunson. Back to Randall. Checks up a three. Oh, he got hacked on the three pointer. He'll head to the line. And, you know, the impressive ascension of Randall has been a lot of fun to watch. I mean, he's a double double threat who plays with relentless energy. It's his first trip to the line. And he buried a bunch of shots from the stripe in that last game. 
And one look at the box score will confirm that. Free throw good from Randall. Good on the second free throw. Can't make it three for three. And it's Hunter Takumbo with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. Seven point differential. And the double up Hunter Takumbo. Lopez kicks to Beasley. Passes it to Giannis. Middleton left side. And he gets the bucket. Boy, the fifth time's the charm. That's a big basket there. Looking at the Knicks, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Milwaukee Bucks. Barrett against Middleton. Barrett with the bounce pass. Lopez with the steal. And now the fast break. Middleton with the ball. He kicks to Lillard. Screen by Giannis. Lock at six. Lillard, the pass to Giannis. Second chance shot. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three point play. Well, if Lopez gets his feet. Planet off a miss. He's anchored in and hard to move. That's why he gets so many rebounds. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. And a look back at his numbers from the free throw line last year. 78%, so not too bad. Josh Hart, he's checked in for Hartenstein. Yeah, and most bigs don't shoot free throws as efficiently as Lopez. The coaching staff has to appreciate that part of his game. They set the pick. Alert against Brunson. A three ball. A three pointer is right on target. Boy, Hart is one of those guys you look at and you can just see the team is first with him. Never hesitates to find the open guy. Gano's with it. Last game he had 28 points. 14 feet away. Randall grabs the board. Now Brunson. And stolen by Lillard. Middleton outside. Over Barrett. And again, the Bucks miss. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. Fast break, Milwaukee. Here's Middleton. Does not find the basket. His third miss. He's made just one so far. DiVincenzo kicks to Barrett. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And what a basket by Barrett. Looking unafraid to take on these difficult challenges down low. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Knicks. Uh, they've looked to fire as much as possible from outside the arc, and so far, they are hitting at a high clip. They've also displayed a real unselfishness as a team, moving the basketball well, sharing the rock, and giving everybody a chance to participate in the offense. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And Antetokounmpo is, is just fearless. I mean... Hit him, knock him around, really doesn't phase him, doesn't matter. I mean, this guy 
is determined to get the job done, and he does. That one misses. You really have to appreciate and respect the spirit Giannis plays the game with. A beacon of energy and enthusiasm for his team. They all feed off of him with an attitude of joy and unselfishness. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup, so I'd agree with you there. First free throw is good. You know, guys, Josh Hart is somebody that's going to give you everything he's got. His combination of outside shooting and defense is really quite valuable to any team. And Hart drops them both. Bucks trail by eight. Lopez outside. Giannis outside. Pass to Lillard. From downtown. The Knicks pull it in. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Yeah, the half and half balls are going their way, and that's really a function of effort and intensity. You know, the ball doesn't discriminate. Whoever goes and gets it, that's who owns it. And that's a foul called on Malik Beasley. That's his first foul. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. Here's Randall. Last game, 26 points. The pass to DiVincenzo. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. On to combo against DiVincenzo. And Giannis gets it to go. With the threat of his drive where he's lethal, the defense has to live with Giannis shooting the mid-range jump shot. Out to the right wing. Lopez against Randall. Five to shoot. And that one is off. Good D by Lopez. And it's Willard with the ball. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. They trail by six. Beasley outside. Lillard outside. Sinks the triple. You know, Beasley not trying to do too much or get too cute there. Just um, finding the open man in a simple fashion. Well done. Pass to DiVincenzo. Back to Randall. Passes to DiVincenzo. New York, no good that time either. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Giannis outside. Middleton looking it over. Over Barrett. And another basket for Milwaukee. Yeah, you know, when you shoot the ball as well as Middleton does, you want to be hungry and looking for your shots. I mean, shot hungry is a good thing when you've got the stroke that he has mid-range and long distance. Barrett. That one's off. Still out of sync. That's one he knows he should have drained. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Good job by Beasley finding a way to get to the strike. The Bucs shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. Two, two, two. 
That free throw missing. You know, when Beasley stays within himself, I think he's really an effective player, and we know he's skilled on offense. And the Bucks with some changes. Bobby Portis is checked in for Lopez. Pat Connaughton comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Payne in for Lillard. That one drops. He ties it up. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. Yeah, things not going their way. And he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. The Bucks making a change here. Bo Champs checked in. Look at this break in the action. We can show you the teams that had the most rebounds last season. Bucks number. Number one in third, the Knicks. I mean, these clubs are almost a mirror image of one another in that regard. You look at the rebounding numbers, really impressive just how physically dominant they both are in the paint. Can they get it? And the rejection by Giannis! They hold the early advantage on the glass. Yeah, nothing major, not a huge advantage, but certainly a good sign for them going forward. Well, I cannot believe he didn't capitalize there. And neither can he. And Connaughton has it in the corner. And again, the Bucks miss. New York's gone 3 and 6, 50% from deep so far tonight. Pass to Gibson. And he uses the glass on the way. Sometimes you have to tip your cap to Gibson. I mean, it doesn't matter who's on him. He was determined to score down low. Payne looking around. Giannis is screen on quickly. Payne in the post. Quickly covering. The Knicks with the lead. And there's the pass to Hart. Here's Grimes. And here is Gibson. Payne covering. Pass to quickly. For the three. It's rebounded by Portis. Milwaukee has gone 1 of 5 from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. 143 left in the first quarter. Back to Payne. Looking here at some numbers for Barrett. Last year, getting it done. He averaged about 19 points a game, five rebounds, and two assists. The contributions he's been making on the floor have been a boon for this team. Great stretch of games for him. Yeah, you know, they've given him more responsibility, and he's responded. And the way he's going, I think his role is only going to increase. That's good from Payne. And New York making a change here. Brunson's checked in. Hits them both. 
And for the Knicks, they're shooting 31% here early on. Not getting the shots they'd like. Quickly the pass to Hart. And Gibson kicks to Brunson. And it's off from three-point range. Here's Milwaukee now. They're on a 12-4 run right now. Now here's Payne. Not a lot of room. Nails the 16-footer. And the Bucks lead by two. You know, the defense has to be better. I mean, you can't give up that look. Johnson the pass to grind. Back to Brunson. Passes it to Quickly. They set the screen from past the arc. Nope, not that time. Nothing for two from the field. The Bucks shooting looking a little out of sorts early. 37%. That bucket in in no time at all. And now a five-point Bucks lead. Smart pass by Porter showing the ability to make good decisions with the ball. Brunson with it. Guarded now by Jackson. That one falls. Brunson's got five points so far. Boy, that was a sweet-looking teardrop. There's very little defense for that. Now here's Payne. Brunson covering. Now here's Payne. Pass to Lillard. Fires the three. Bangs home the trifecta. Seven points in the game. And this is Lillard's bread and butter. He's always ready to pull from that ring. So it's Milwaukee with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. And we'll be back with you shortly. And we welcome you back to NBA action. A great tradition. Christmas Day basketball here on 2K Sports. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Bucks. Right off the bat, they're going after the ball, looking to jump into the passing lanes and create some steals and transition. Hey, I'd like to also shout out the way they've defended. Already they've recorded some really good shot blocks. They've got Taj Gibson. Jalen Brunson out there with Emmanuel quickly. Then it's Josh Hart. And it's Grimes in at the small forward position. That's the five for New York right now. Payne kicks to Portis. Free throw line jump shot. The Knicks pull it in. Well, you know he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jumper. The pass to Brunson. No good on the three. Milwaukee leading by three. Here's Payne. And it's Grimes with the rebound. It's Hart on the wing. He's defended by Connaughton. Pass to Grimes. The feed to Gibson. On deep, Brunson. Brunson with another miss. And so Lillard will bring it up for the Bucks. Greg, you've heard people say it's a make or miss league. Does that hold true? It seems so, right? Shooting percentages correlate more with winning than possession stats, like turnovers or offensive rebounds. It's clear shot making has never been more valuable, but the ability to disrupt rhythm still plays a big role. Crimes with the bucket. 
maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that D can afford to give him. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Giannis Adentokounmpo could arguably be called the most feared slasher in league history. He says, I just tried to read the crowd, read the walls, and see where I can beat them. There's a second there that you can attack the seams and change your speed. I've done this 25 to 30 times every night, so I know what to look for. Kevin? He definitely does, David. A master at his cramp. Hey, DA, thanks for the report. And that one's good quickly. Boy, I like how their perimeter game is building out. They're feeling it right now. And the Bucks decide to take their first time out here. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for Brunson. Coming off a terrific season and amongst the league's top tier scorers, top 20 in points per game. And who could defend him last season out there? Defenders tried to body him up, play a little physical, but time and time again, he drilled the three anyway. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. That's a two from Lillard, and he drops that one in. Nine points for Damian Lillard. And the shot first mindset of Lillard, when he sees an opening in the defense, he's looking to attack. Passes it to Brunson. Offline with his three. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Here's Jackson. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Randall's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Hart, and it's blocked. Connington against DiVincenzo. Payne passes to Jackson. And Lillard kicks to Payne. Portis sets the pick for Payne. Shot clock at six. There's the three. Rebounded by Hart. Hart's got four rebounds now tonight. Pass to DiVincenzo. And the Knicks miss again. Not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. It's deflected. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Hart finds Brunson. Near the three-point line, it's DiVincenzo. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Brunson's got three assists in the game. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. Now, here's Payne. Defense is right there. Over Brunson. It'll go, and the New York lead is cut down to one in the bucket from Payne. Payne's got six points. And you see the ability to rise and fire from mid-range, even against that length. You know, guys, if they're inside, that shot probably gets blocked. But from mid-range, I mean, he's able to get it off over the bigger defender there. Randall surveying the D. Goes up on the wing. Here's Brunson, rejected by Payne. The pass to Connaughton from 12 feet out, and he nails the jumper. Five points in the game. Lillard's passing game, a thing of beauty. Got that ball to a guy who had a quality look and got it to him on time. New York calls timeout. Hartenstein, he's checked in for the Knicks. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Portis. Antetokounmpo comes in for Jackson. Chris Middleton's checked in for Pat Connaughton. And it's Beasley in for Payne.
Hartenstein passes to Quickly. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Quickly's got six here in this quarter. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. That way. Courtesy of the 2K leaderboard, here's a peek at the league's top scores from a season ago. Damian Lillard third. And, of course, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And what an option either of those two guys give you. They're both excellent safety valves when an offense is struggling. Pass to quickly. Knocked loose. They push it up four on three. Middleton against DiVincenzo. Here's Antetokounmpo. Shot clock at five. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Well, I tell you what, the long arms of Antetokounmpo are really incredibly lethal in the paint. Sometimes the defense really has no choice but to foul him and then hope he misses. Makes the first. Hard, he's checked in for Hartenstein. He hits one and misses one each at the line. New York's gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. 7 of 17. Hits it from three-point range. Quickly's got nine points in the quarter. Yeah, great outside shooting. Really fueling this run. And here is Hunter DeCumbo. He has five. Over Hart. It'll go, and the New York leaders cut down to just two points with the bucket from Kumbo. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. Even Genzo against Middleton. Here's Hart. And no good. Some solid defense from Kumbo. Right wing. Three-pointer Lillard. Rebounded by Hart. Hart's got six rebounds in the game. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. Quickly the pass to Brunson. Giannis with some nice D. Milwaukee's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. And there's the call on Dante DiVincenzo. That is his first foul of the game. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. And New York making a change here. Barrett's checked in. The Bucks also with the sub. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Damian Lillard. Connaughton with a screen on DiVincenzo. Beats it. No good. That would have tied it. And so it's Hart who brings up the ball for the Knicks. Pass to DiVincenzo. Kicks it to Randall. And here is Hart. In the corner, Barrett with it. At the heart, here's Randall. Scores for only the second time tonight. Now two for six from the field. There's your bully ball right there. I mean, a lot of folks think that's all Randall is, is a bully baller. With those big shoulders and that muscular body, he does a nice job putting them to use. Andre Kumbo with the ball. He's got seven. It's Beasley on the wing, shoots the three, cans it from downtown. You know, with his ability to space the floor, Beasley adds a strong dimension to his team's offense. 
quickly against Connaughton. Quickly kicks to Hart. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Over to the wing. Easily outside. Middleton the pass to Lopez. He dishes it to Giannis. There it goes on the Kumbo. In the hoop for his fourth field goal. Four for seven shooting and looking for more. Well, he's just zoned in. I mean, in most cases, taking quality shots very much within the flow of the offense. Connington against quickly. Randall outside. Wow, came this close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. This is his second trip to the free throw line. from Randall. Taj Gibson's checked in for New York. Jalen Brunson comes in for quickly. The Bucks also with the sub. Payne's checked in. And he sinks the second. Makes all three. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws. And 100% free throwing for the quarter, that's superb. And the pass to Middleton. A three. It's good from long range. Middleton's got seven points. Man, it's obvious that Middleton has great confidence. I mean, you can just see it oozing out of him. He's so good at catching the defense off balance and knocking down the catch and shoot jump shot. And play stops, whistle on what looks That's to green. be an illegal screen. And a chance here to check out some stats on Chris Middleton. A very nice season for him last year. Averaged about 15 points a game last season. Five assists and four rebounds. And you talk about guys who just have a nose for putting up points. He is one of them. Yeah, he sure is, and he rarely has back-to-back -back bad games. If he has an off night, he usually follows that up with a big night. Pass to Brunson. From 10 feet out, Hart wide open. He fires. Great look, but off the mark. And he just hasn't been able to make anything this quarter. Here's Giannis. The Knicks pull it in. Randall's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Runs in the pass to Barrett. To the middle. Outside for Randall. Drills the three-pointer. Randall's got eight points in the quarter. <laughs> and that's one way to extend the lead. Continue to light it up from long range. They have all the confidence in the world right now from the three-point line. Passes it to Payne. There's the triple. It's rebounded by Barrett. You can see the frustration in the quarter on his face, especially with his team trailer. Handle outside for three. Lopez grabs the board. Lopez has got four rebounds now tonight. Payne passes to Ana de Kumbo. There's 39 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. The Knicks with the lead. From deep, Brunson. Rebounded by the Bucks. Ande de Kumbo's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Got a piece of it. 
Pass to Brunson. Finished off the break. Brunson's got 10. Normally, Brunson is the quickest guy on the floor. No one is beating him on the break. Now, Giannis. One second left. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. Julius Randle getting it done for the Knicks. What a quarter that saw them generate a great comeback effort and are now out in front with momentum behind them. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thank you. Coach, a solid first half of play. What's been working? We're getting the ball up the floor quickly, making quick decisions, moving the ball side to side. We started off playing pretty good defense, but we have to be able to sustain it throughout. Hey, Coach, thanks for your time. We'll see if that defense holds up in the second half. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. Welcome to halftime, everybody. Right now, the New York Knicks are providing quite an entertaining and close game. How about that ball movement? So often we see guys dribble, 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 and make themselves easy to defend. Not this team, not in the first half. Passing up good shots for great shots. That's what we're talking about right now. And let's take a glance at what lies ahead. A look at the upcoming schedule. Well, I think for Milwaukee, at this point, you got to take every team you're up against as a test. Asking yourself, what can we do better than last year? Happens for us, too. Kenny, you cook up any new approaches in the offseason? Well, I'm going to reveal those, you know, over time, not just all in one sitting. But you're right. There is an opportunity to stretch and experiment. See what's working and what isn't. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has the second half call. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. We're seeing a tremendous game from Julius Randle. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Here's who Adrian Griffin is starting the second half with. Lopez is the pivot with Giannis to his side. Beasley on the wing along with Middleton. And it's Lillard in at the one. And Brunson recognizes how to execute inside. The D must be more physical with him. Now here's Giannis. Puts the move on. And they'll get another chance. Now the pass to Barrett. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It goes on Chris Middleton. And at 6'7", Barrett with terrific positional size, which allows him to create problems for defenders down low. No good on that one. And what you like about Barrett is his all-around game. A versatile guard slash forward who wants to keep improving. And he's good on the second. Bucks trail by seven. Here's Lillard. Giannis. 
Beasley with a clean look. Misses the three. And Barrett has got the ball here for New York. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. Here's Hartenstein. Still yet to score. And the rejection by Anadokounmpo. The reach, the athleticism, the timing. No surprise, Giannis swatted that one away. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Anadokounmpo dishes to Lopez. It's out of the combo on the wing. He's defended by Randall. Three on the clock. And they were in the top ten in scoring. Their system really played to their strengths. They had a very good plan in place at the offensive end. And the rebounding you just talked about. I did a night out. They controlled the boards. Nobody could match their energy in that department. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. One falls for. Makes both free throws. And here's Barrett. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Even Genzo with the screen on Middleton. Hartenstein tipped back in for two. Hartenstein's got the lead up to nine now for the Knicks. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. Here's Giannis, and the rebound goes to the Knicks. Clearly out of sync to begin this half, 0 for their first three attempts. Some nice passing by New York here. Pass to DiVincenzo. Good, nice job down low. And now it's an 11-point Knicks lead. Outstanding focus from Dante DiVincenzo, not allowing a bump to throw him off his shot there. Good concentration. Poke loose. And now the Knicks on the break. Throws down the breakaway jam. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, offensively, they've just been rolling. Impossible to stop. Pass to Lopez. Middleton outside. The pass to Lillard. This one for three. Hits the three-point bomb. Lillard's got 12 in the game. Finally, they get one to drop. That's one of their first four timeout, here timeout. in the third. New York calls timeout. Started. While we have a chance, let's take a look at the best free throw shooters in the league from last season. 
fourth, Damian Lillard. He was locked and loaded from the free throw line all season. Never suffered through any real lulls in that department. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Brunson scanning the floor. And the wide open shot from DiVincenzo. No good with the triple. Bucks trail by 10. Giannis passes to Lillard. From deep. Knicks with the rebound. Randall's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. Middleton finds Lopez. Now Giannis, stolen by Brunson. Fast break, here they come. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. What do you got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. Well, the NBA is looking to expand its footprint, and a franchise south of the border could potentially hold tremendous appeal. Commissioner Adam Silver said Mexico City is the largest city in North America. It could also be a gateway to all of Latin America. The opportunity to flip a switch in terms of opening up a large geographical area to NBA interest. Kevin? Hmm, that's interesting. Thanks, David. Yeah. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It goes on Chris Middleton. The, the energy Barrett plays where puts defenders on their heels. He, he's really good at forcing the opposition's hand. And that one falls for Barrett. No good on the second free throw. We love the fact that the NBA is constantly evolving. Greg, what have you thought of the recent schedule adjustments? I think the league's done a great job cutting down on the back-to-backs. And also, I like these two-game, like, baseball-style series we've seen. Limiting travel helps big time. Pass to Brunson. Six to shoot. Now here's Randall from downtown. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Brunson's got four assists in the game. And it's Lillard with the ball. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. It's a 13-point game. Easily outside. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Beasley's got seven points. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Randall is doubled, and there's the call on Giannis Antetokounmpo. That's his third foul of the game. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Yep, they'll be trying to draw that next foul quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the strike. And the Bucks making a change here. Connaughton's checked in. DiVincenzo passes to Barrett. Back to DiVincenzo. Knocked away. Beasley with the steal. Looking for Connaughton. He gets it there. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Knicks. The three-pointers and how well they're able to shoot them. You wonder if they can keep it up, and boy, have they. You know, another thing that stands out to me is their passing in this game. I mean, they've done a tremendous job sharing the ball and setting each other up for success. That's good from Connaughton. The Knicks making a switch here. Brickley's checked in. Oh, 
That misses, so he splits the free throws. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. Bucks trail by nine. Giannis dishes to Lillard. Passes to Connaughton. Kicks it out to Beasley. No good from outside. That's excellent defense right there on the perimeter. Here's Hartenstein. New York moving the ball around. And Barrett gets it to go. And defensively, they've gotten a little careless, not playing with the same focus we saw in the first. On to Kumbo, a screen on quickly. Giannis up top. Pass to Beasley. Fires the three. Six on the shot clock. Feeds to Lopez. A kick out to Giannis. Out to the Kumbo. Stretching the four with the three. You know, he attracts a lot of attention, and Lopez making the most of it there to set his teammate up with an open look. Barrett with the ball. Eight points for him. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Here's Beasley. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Just five on the clock. Here's Antetokounmpo. Lillard from outside. And another three for Milwaukee. And that is just too easy for Lillard. A legitimate threat to burn you from the corner. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Good timeout call right there. Looked like the guys were gassed. Heavy legs out there for sure. Portis is checked in for Milwaukee. Cameron Payne comes in for Lillard. And they were a top three team in terms of second chance points. Boy, they are as good as anybody at converting on misses. And, and you just mentioned it. What a year it was for them on the glass. The sheer effort and energy they put into their rebounding was tremendous. There at the pass to Hartenstein. Back to Barrett. That one misses. Excellent deed there from Beasley. Portis kicks to Payne. Outside, out of the Kumbo. There's the pass to Portis. Shoots over DiVincenzo. But on that shot, with that, the Nick lead is cut down now to just six points with that basket from Portis. Beasley with the steal. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Shot from 16. That misses off the backboard. New York's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Pass to Barrett. But Trey. Here's Hartenstein. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free-throw line. I mean, you know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. Yeah, he almost got that one down. I mean, those are the kind of aggressive plays coaches love to see. The Knicks have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. And if we want to take a look back, they converted about 76% from the line. And that just has to improve, guys. I mean, the free throw shooting is something that has to get better. You're immediately putting yourself at a disadvantage when you shoot that poorly from the line. The first one falls. Jackson, he's checked in for Beasley.
and so he hits both. Bucks trail by eight. Now on the Kumbo, he's got 14. Rebounded by Hart. Hart's got double digit rebounds now in the game. It's Barrett on the wing. Some solid defense there from Jackson. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Passes it to quickly. Inside. It's blocked. Using that 7-2 wingspan. Very effective. Portis just obliterated that shot. Bucks passing it around. Portis is screen on quickly. Pass to Connaughton. He kicks to Giannis. He's looking for Portis and finds him. The pass to Payne. Four on the shot clock. And the three off target. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. Outside Portis. To the paint. Giannis is double. Out to the right wing. Put on that shot. With that, the Nick lead is cut down now to just five on the bucket from Payne. And there to Kumpo. Nice pass there. Good at finding his open teammates. Pass to Hart. Here's Hartenstein. He has six. And he's good on the three ball. Barrett's got eight points here in this quarter. And, and you like to see since the half now, he's finally starting to come around. Portis sets the pick for Giannis. Knocked loose. 44 seconds left here in the third quarter. Passes it to Barrett. Back to Hart. Pass to Quickly. They set the pick. Just five to shoot. From 17 feet out. Hart, that's good. 24 seconds left to play in the third. Hart against Giannis. It's three on three on the fast break. Hart the pass to Grind. With one on the clock. And that's going to do it. Some good defense down the stretch to end the quarter. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Knicks lead by 10. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Boy, that's a nice asset to have. It's a huge boost to any offense, too. It adds a whole nother dimension when you've got a big guy that can pass. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. We've got Emmanuel quickly. Hart is out there with Taj Gibson. Then it's Jalen Brunson. And it's Grimes in at the small forward. That's the five for New York right now. Lillard outside. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor this game. Now six for ten. 
Oh, a remarkable score. Lillard's shoot first mindset is what helps him own games like this. Brunson. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. Green passes to Connaughton. Here's Lillard. The three. Rebounded by Hart. Hart's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. He misses the free throw. And the Bucks making a change here. Bo Jamps checked in. He hits the second from the line. Like you spent your first four seasons playing in New York. What's that like? But when the Knicks are winning. Kevin, there is no place you'd rather be. The fans are incredibly smart, loyal, and they'll treat you like a king. But no doubt that media pressure is for real. Brunson against Lillard. Here's Hart. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Gibson against Portis. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Drains the three while he's being fouled, and he might be able to make this a four-point play. Hey, when your big can pass it like Portis did there, the defense has to just tip their hat on that one. problems in the first half that shoddy work at the free throw line they needed to fix that and they've been much improved since the break it's Brunson top of the key perfect on the shot swishes it through a, a, a tough first half but it's been a different story here since the break now the pass to Bochamp with the shot and another basket for Milwaukee the Knicks leading by five. Pass to Grimes. That's tipped. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Connaughton finds Lillard. Over to the left wing. Lock at six. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Taj Gibson picks one up. Because Portis is an active scorer, he draws the D's attention, sometimes a little too much attention. First one drops. An obvious fan favorite. It's all about hard work with Bobby Portis. That's how he proved himself in this league and how he makes a difference night after night. Hartenstein's checked in for New York. Malik Beasley, he's checked in for Milwaukee. That one is no good. Tough miss at this juncture. They're down two baskets right now. 
I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. It's clearly been their edge, and in a close game like this, you look for every edge you can find. Brunson draws the double. Hart the pass to Hartenstein. On deep, Brunson. It's rebounded by Portis. Defense better watch out. They better be alert because this guy can make threes, as we saw in the first half. Alert against Brunson. From outside the arc, Lillard misses. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the Knicks. Fade away. Yep, that one goes. Bucks trail by six. Passes it to Connaughton. Portis for three. Milwaukee, no good that time either. For New York, they've gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Hart with a screen on Connaughton. Thompson with it. Picked up by Portis. Here's quickly. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Brunson's got his fifth assist in this one. For Milwaukee, they've gone four of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Lillard finds Portis. The Bucks working the ball around. Out to the right wing. Takes the three. And Portis throws it down. You've got to put a body on Portis, or he'll wreak havoc on the offensive glass. The Knicks leading by six. Now, here's quickly. A three ball. Nailed from three-point land. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Jackson against Hart. Here's Lillard. And again, it's Milwaukee converting. Productive habits pay off for Lillard. He's always working on his offense to refine his skill. Brunson draws the double. Lost to grind. Here's Hartenstein. Five on the clock. And a strong finish with two hands. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Timeout called the Bucks. And the Bucks with some changes. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Jackson. And Anna Tacumbo subbed in for Pat Connington. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Hey, guys. Here was Adrian Griffith's message during the huddle. Now, he was vocal in the huddle. He told his guys, don't quit on each other. We're still in this game, guys, but I need each one of you to up your energy level. Let's make a run now. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Out of the Kumbo, kicks to Lopez. Outside Portis. And the Bucks miss again. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Here's Randall. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Beasley outside. Lopez outside. And there's the pass to Giannis. And he drops it in from the low post. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Alert against Brunson. To the inside, Hartenstein. That falls. Nice feed that time from Brunson. Hartenstein's got 10 points here in the second half. Bucks trail by nine. Easily outside. Lillard scanning the floor. Yep, it counts. And no stopping Lillard. Excellent at staying in control no matter what the D throws at him. 
Chris Middleton's checked in for Milwaukee. Free throw good from Lillard. Looking at the Bucks, GA, they've made the playoffs every year since 2017. And Kevin, as long as Giannis is at the helm, that streak should continue for a while. He's arguably the best player in the world. Guys want to play with this kid. Offensive rebound. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. When you look at this Knicks roster, Greg, this is a team that feels it can make a deep playoff push. And they have their stars. They have tons of young talent. Developing that talent and adding a piece or two should get them where they want to go. And the first one at the line is good. Absolute heartbreak, Clark, for the Bucks last year in the postseason. You're right, Kevin. It was a shocker to see the Bucks go down in the first round as the one seed. And Miami really handled them, too. Knocked them out of there in five games. The Heat played with a lot of energy, got contributions from a lot of different players, and key defensive stops with a balanced attack did Milwaukee in. Beasley against DiVincenzo. Out left of the wing. Pulls it from 20. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Hartenstein's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Brunson up top. Covered by Lillard. Shock up two there. Hartenstein's got eight points in the quarter. Well, great feed there by Jalen Brunson. A terrific facilitator. Easily outside. Back to Lillard. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Lillard's got 15 points here in the second half. You make your teammates better by giving them good passes. That one was perfect. Pass to Barrett. Rebound, Milwaukee. Lopez has got six rebounds here tonight. Lillard, the pass to Beasley. Back to Lillard. Outside, out of the Kumbo. The wide open look here for Lopez. And it's headed to Kumbo, picking up the assist. It's a real problem trying to guard Lopez in the corner. If you follow him out there, it opens up the lane for his teammates to drive. But if you don't, Big Fellow will make you pay from there. Barrett against Middleton. Brunson, no good. And so it's Middleton with it. He brings it up for Milwaukee. And here's Giannis. And a deep three from Lillard. No good on the triple. Lillard against Brunson. There's the screen. Takes it inside. It's good. Brunson's got 20. And, and offensively, they seem to have turned a corner. Yeah, I don't know if it's coincidence or not, but a much better half since they changed hoops. And they're really looking strong here. And it's Lillard missing. He's missing shot after shot after shot from long range. The time running low, he'd be better off trying something else. DiVincenzo kicks to Barrett. Pass to Randall. Shot clock at six. And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. Not that time, his six miss. He's made four of ten so far. Pass to Lillard. And here is Lopez. Let's the three fly. It's rebounded by New York. Hartenstein's got double digit rebounds now in the game. Runs in the pass to Randall. Lopez with the block. Great timing on Lopez's part there to squat down that attempt. Bucks trail by nine. Giannis high post. 
Lando on him. Beyond the arc. And there's Lopez. That's good on the assist by Beasley. Lopez has got six points in the quarter. Boy, a big man with great touch from deep. Always a valuable commodity in today's game. Brunson kicks to Barrett. Up to Brunson. Brunson draws the double. Knocks it loose. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Andrew Kumbo. And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. That's all good, and that's his fifth basket of the game. He's shooting five for 11 now. Middleton outside. And the pass to Giannis. Giannis is double. Six on the shot clock. Lopez, a screen on DiVincenzo. For three, Beasley. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. And the chain by Antetokounmpo. Man, the attitude of Antetokounmpo. Really impressive. Really what you want to see in your team's best player. He's a guy that doesn't back down when the game gets tight and things are on the line. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Here's Randall. 52 seconds left in the game. There's a screen. Let's it go with a three. No good on the shot. And, you know, the defense to me looked like they were okay to let him prove he could make that shot. Lillard outside. Cut! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Boy, and just look at what Damian Lillard is doing. This could be a turning point. Critical possession right here. And so they choose to intentionally foul. <laughs> 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now they decide to foul intentionally. as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. And I love how unafraid Brunson is. You can tell he loves the challenge of the moment. And he ends up making the second, and that will put them up by two. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. They're down by two. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Giannis high post. And they double up Giannis. Beasley for three. That one, no good. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Yeah, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Yeah, they have to extend the game. I mean, plain and simple. Use every second you can on the clock here.
Good on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. And we've talked about Randall becoming a leader. Now taking charge and wanting to deliver at the line. And so both free throws are good. And it's a four-point ball game. And that makes it a two-possession game now. Those could turn out to be vital free throws. Pass to Lopez. Here's the three. Even Chenzo with the rebound. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. the first one and that puts them up by five. Boy the upside DiVincenzo has is obvious. I mean now it's up to him to continue working on his game and keep getting better. So he goes two for two at the line and it's a six point ball game. I think it's a wrap. When the game's on the line he knows how to deliver the crushing blow. Connects from downtown. Timeout, timeout. New York calls timeout. They're up by three. Just four seconds left in the fourth quarter. to stop the clock so there's a foul. First one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And one area where Brunson's improved is in the clutch. He's a monster in crunch time. Nice to have a player you can depend on in those key situations. And so it's the Knicks with the win. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans, but in the end, everyone satisfied. Uh, I mean, there were some times that that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on, but let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Kev. Thanks so much, David. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.